So we're actually going to take a step back for a moment and talk about what equations really are. So an equation is just going to be any sort of a statement. It might be true, it might be false. It's a statement that two expressions are equal. That is, that they have the same value. So what do I mean by that? Well, let's start with 1 equals 0. Is this an equation? Yes. It's a false equation. It's not true, but it is an equation. Okay, how about this equation? 1 equals 1. It's not the most interesting equation, but it's an equation, and it's a true equation. Now, what you're probably more familiar with is something that has a variable in it, an equation in one variable, x. We, we might have seen, well, we've, we've dealt with more than one variable already, but let's just stick to equations with one variable, x equals 1. This might be true or false depending on what x is. If x is 1, this is true. If x is 0, this is false. So for some values of x, this equation is going to be true. What does it mean to solve an equation? Well, it means to find the values for which the equation is true. So here, if we wanted to solve, I would just say, well, this is true when x equals 1. Usually there's something with a little more substance to it, something maybe like that, where we would say, okay, x plus 1 equals 2. If I want to solve that, I know this thing on the left is identical to this thing on the right. So if I take this thing on the left and subtract 1, it's identical to this thing on the right when I subtract 1. And I just get, if I want to be a real stickler, I could say this is x plus 1 minus 1 equals 1 using the associative law and then just say this is x plus 0 equals 1 and x equals 1. Now I wouldn't expect you to write out all those steps every time just in case anyone um, wanted uh, to see them all there they are. Um, so this is something you're a little more familiar with. What you might not be familiar with is the idea of the domain of an equation. So the domain of an equation these are going to be the values where both sides are defined. For example, if I have something like 1 over x minus 1 equals 2 over x, this equation is not defined when, say, x equals 0. This equation is not defined when x equals 1. So it's not defined for those two values. Any other number I can plug in. I can plug in 5. If I plug in x equals 5, I'll get 1 fourth equals 2 fifths. It'll be a false. That's not solving the equation, but I can plug these values in. So everything but these two, which I could also rewrite as everything from negative infinity to 0, 0 to 1, and 1 to infinity. If I were to draw this on a number line, what I would do is I'd say, okay, we're going to have a big hole and a big hole. Well, not really a big hole because numbers are small. They don't really take up any width, but whatever. At 0, at 1, everything else is good except for 0 and 1. So if we want the domain of an equation, what we're going to do is we're going to find all the numbers uh, which we can plug in where the sides exist. And what do we have to watch out for? Well, the only things we have to watch out for are zeros in the denominator and negatives inside a, uh, an even root. Those are the two things we want to watch out for. Uh, maybe more stuff going onward depending on what class we're in 
and what sort of number system we're dealing with, but for now, just think of we can't have zero in, in a denominator, we can't have a negative inside an even root.